You know, I don't, muscles don't win fights. You know what it's all about? That IQ. You know, I'm 10 steps ahead of any fighter. You know, I take whatever your best attribute is, I take it away from you, make you resort to doing something that you don't want to do. What's going on, y'all? Coach Floyd from Team Us LLC. Thank you for tuning in once again. Uh, we're going to do another boxing film study today of the Lomachenko and the Walters fight since it previewed yesterday. And this, um, this film study is called Basic Fundamentals because Walters missed one basic fundamental thing that might have helped him in this fight and his corner did not point it out. So we're going to watch this from this first round and then we'll just skip a couple of things. And I want all y'all coaches and film students to look right now at what's going on. And I can tell you Lomachenko is trying to fill Walters out. So I want y'all to peep this and see what is basically happening. What basic fundamental is happening right now in this filling out process. And I can tell you it's good from Lomachenko. He's doing what he needs to do right now. Now they're filling each other out. And I, I need to point out what is happening the basic fundamental but i'm trying to give y'all at least to the second part of this before i point it out to y'all because i want y'all to really look so what's happening in in this round could y'all understand what's happening in the mind in the chess match right now could y'all see what's going on So they filling each other out in this process part. And I slowed it down so you could see what's happening. Look at the feet, y'all. One of the basic things fighting the southpaw is foot dominance. Where your foot is at. So Lomachenko is testing him out to see if Walters know. Now, one thing I could tell y'all, and y'all could go back and watch the fight. Walters corner told him to go to his right. But they never told him to shut that back door. Because one thing is Lomachenko do not like being in the kitchen. He's going to leave him an escape route. And that escape route is having that foot dominance where he could turn these angles and everything else like that. That's Lomachenko whole fight. And we're going we're gonna to watch some of this. The foot dominance and what Lomachenko do. He, you see, he got his foot in position. And Walter, see, when Walter tried to cut it off, he got out, he got out that goddamn kitchen. He kept it moving. So, so y'all have to watch this because this is simple, basic fighting. Students of boxing, please make sure y'all practice this in the gym. If you're fighting the southpaw, have that foot dominance. And you could go to the right side if you need to, but at least go to the right side with your foot on the outside of this. Look, and Walters is not catching it. Look at Lomachenko, foot dominance. He's going to keep that foot dominance. And if, it, and if he lose it, he's going to go reboot and reset. And that's how this fight was going. So when you watch the fight now, and I'm not taking nothing away from Lomachenko. That is not what I'm doing. He did do a good fight, but he exposed because it shows that he don't like being in the kitchen. He's going to get the hell up out of there, get his foot in position. See, see, he getting out of there. Head control and got out of there. Now he's going to reset to get the feet back right. See, step over. And then back. That's Lomachenko whole game. So to fight Lomachenko, Walter's corner should have let him know, close that back door. Close that back door. Force him to go to your right hand. Now one thing is Lomachenko got fast feet, so he'll act like he's going in the kitchen just to bounce that foot on out. Let's see. See, he'll have that foot like he's going there. He'll even go to your right hand, and then he'll bounce that foot out of there so that he get foot dominant so he could turn his angles. Look, 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 see? Lomachenko ain't letting you get that foot dominant. He's going to bang out, and that's basic fundamentals. That's boxing 101. Mm. Now, don't get, like I said, don't get me wrong. Lomachenko doing a good job, but Walter's corner left him hanging. Look, look, look at the foot dominance. Walters don't know what, what to do in there. He's lost right now from basic boxing one-on-one. -on -one. I tell you, if I was in his corner, it would have been a whole different fight. 
See, when he kind of figured it out, look at the trouble Lomachenko had. Although he blocked it, Lomachenko do not like fighting in the kitchen. When that back door get closed, Lomachenko, all he could do is block and, and go try to regroup. And Walter's Corner should have picked this up. They should have been able to identify this and tell um, Walters what to do. I'm, I'm even going to play in the corner. It was too much confusion going on in this corner, in Walter's Corner. But look, still good work. Still, still getting out there, getting his foot out of, in position, foot dominance. Beautiful work from Lomachenko. Now watch Walter's Corner. And I'm even going to play the snippet so you can hear this. What? Let me slow this down. Look at look at Walters. He's looking for help. He's confused. I would have quit too. His corner, everybody talking, too much instruction going on right now. Nobody telling him the strategy to beat Lomachenko. Nobody telling him nothing. And he's looking at his dad for help. His corner failed him. And I, that's what I feel. No disrespect to his corner man, his coaches, his dad. But I feel his, as, as a coach in the corner or the corner man, one person should be giving instructions and he should be able to tell the guy what is happening in there what to do to change the fight you know he are the eyes the strategist on the outside the fighter just supposed to execute what his strategist is saying to win that fight in the whole fight Lomachenko was having foot dominance and Walters wasn't even really trying to gain foot dominance it was just crazy in there so coaches please Study this game so you can be able to identify flaws for your students when you work in their corner. And boxing students, please learn the fundamentals. Because this was a basic fight. Lomachenko is basic. He stick to the fundamentals. And that's why, in my opinion, he win. Because he stick to the basics. He ain't trying to be super fancy. Even when he's trying to do his little thing, he's still doing it within the basics. Not taking nothing away from Lomachenko, but Lomachenko is exposed. Close that back door. Whoever fight him next, close that back door. Leave him in the kitchen, and let's see how he work under pressure. This is good work, boy, doing. This is good work. Nice. Nice body shot. Nice inside fighting right there. Foot is in position away from trying to stay as far as possible from that right hand. Limit his fighter to being a one-handed fighter. Weakening him with the body shots. And that's amazing. Oh, look at that elbow. Did y'all see? Did y'all see the arm high maneuver? The arm. Let's rewind that on back. Because y'all gotta catch this. This is great inside fighting at his best. Here we go. Now let's watch this again. Let's watch the body work. And the defense Ward is doing. He's a master at this. Nice, nice jab. Nice duck right there. Stab the wind up out of his opponent. Nice shot right there. He's doing good. Foot in position to stay out of danger. He's trying to stay away from the right. Nice duck. Nice. He see that body shot over there. Now this is good. This is, this is great inside fighting right here. Got his eyes on his opponent. He giving his opponent a different look. He had the hands up. Now he brought it down. Now he's going to bait Kovalov. He's going to move his hand over the left hand to the side to make Kovalov throw. See? Now dip. Good, good. On the inside, hit. Now he's going to use his arm to frustrate Kovalov right here. Watch. Watch this, y'all. I hope y'all peeping this because this is good work right here. Now here go the arm. Oh, hit the face. Push off. Controlling the arms. Controlling both arms.